Shane Lowry, last year's Open champion, with the Claret Jug back on Northern Irish soil, where he won the Open at Royal Portrush. Back at the Irish Open, a former champion, so is this man, Podrick Harrington, another major winner as well. Should have been captaining the European Ryder Cup team this week. Instead, he is here at Galgorm Castle for the 2020 well, Dubai Duty Free Irish Open. best in the world a, a lot of players have set yardages for for wedges Forig has four <laughs> on each wedge a, a range of 16 yardages with different heights different spin rates and there's a touch of class he gets it up on it watch yourself all right look at this here he comes I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. <laughs> look at this, look at Harrington. He might be 50, but I'll tell you he's strong. Look at him. That's, that's a first time for everything, Wayne. I you think that is the first time I've ever seen that. Oh, but the way he carried it. Well, it was a tree word, wasn't it? I <laughs> Garrick Higo, the most recent, recent winner on the European Tour, the young South African, the lefty. How about this? At the fourth, a beauty. Picked up where he left off last week. Just sets up nicely to the eye. It's quite an unusual grip. Catlin Scott has a lot of the grip in his hand. Get in! Oh, oh. Shot. What a shot! It works. What do you think? Sebastian Soderberg. Short par three, the seventh. To get back to level par. We've played some good stuff, Soderberg, over the last few months. And in you go on cue. One in Switzerland last year. When being cold, you can have full one of these, not a goal on the number. Okay. Sounded like a good strike, and it was from Stephen Gallagher. Two at the top. South Africa's Dean Burmester. It's been three and a half years since he won the Swanee Open down in his native South Africa. And uh, he made a par at 18 for a round of 65. That included a double drop at the 17th, and he was joined at the top by Jordan Smith. A bogey-free round of 65 for the Englishman hunting a second European Tour title. Call frosty conditions, in fact, first thing on day two of the Dubai Duty Free Irish Open. It led to an hour and a half delay at the start. So players going out a little later than expected, including Podrick Harrington, who agonisingly missed that putt at 18 for par. And that could be the difference between him making the halfway cut. Jazz Jane Watanen and his approach shot into the par for 13th. <coughs> yeah, his playing partners are close by, as you can see, that helps you. Judge the shot. Seems as well. Terrific shot. So just outside right. Go on, Randy Kump. Yes, yeah, beautifully done for um, Harding. He's got ten professional wins tucked under his belt. Ahead at the 13th outside birdie chance here for Scott N just looking to two putt this one really from this distance try and get it within a couple of feet of the hole a bit like that there you go absolutely perfect commentators curse working in reverse there Aaron Wright has reached the par 3 7th hole 162 yards of it he doesn't always wear two gloves, does he? Yeah. Does oh, he well, he doesn't when, not when he putts, but he does. Um, he does for everything else. Yeah. John Catlin won the Australia Dam and Alethea Masters three weeks ago at Valderrama. Impressive performance there, and an impressive display so far for him. He's also in pretty good shape at three under par. Robert Rock second to Shane Lowry, lost in a playoff at County Louth back in 2009. 
Well, he's uh, four under par after a round of 67, tied lowest round of the day. And alongside Dean Burmester, the big-hitting South African, who had one or two frustrations out there today, but a lovely birdie-birdie finish. Saw him round in 71, he's at four under. And that is one behind our leader, the Englishman Aaron Rye, winner in Hong Kong a couple of years ago. Lovely way to finish at 18 with a birdie there. A round of 70, he's five under, one ahead. Beautiful Galgorm Castle in Northern Ireland, a challenging parkland layout and a new venue for the 2020 Dubai Duty Free Irish Open. One of the European Tour's most sought-after prizes is on the line this weekend. Five holes left to play for Toby Tree. He's one over par today. Three under par. Still inside the top ten. He could do it with a good strong finish, though. Yeah. To a good spot for tomorrow. That's a good start. Well another, done. See another one. You're stop no, you got another one. Huh? Uh, Lucas Herbert. I watched him play a little bit yesterday and was mightily impressed. I must say, big hitter. Played well last week in wing foot. There's a good shot into the difficult 16th hole. That along with the ninth of the two most difficult holes on the golf course. So. Oh, there's one of the few <laughs> spectators outside the bubble. He's got a few, few friends as well. They're ready to steal <laughs> his Kit Kat, I think. <laughs> Isn't that a fantastic picture? Isn't it? <laughs> Photograph that somebody quickly. That's brilliant. 54 yards. This is playing. He's at five under two behind. Down. 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 Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, beautiful Thanks. shot. Jazz Jane Wassenaand is in contention. Top shots at 16 and 17, but finished off nicely there at 18 with a birdie for a round of 66. He's also at six under, and one better than that, Australia's Maverick Ancliffe won three times on the China Tour last season to earn himself a European Tour card by topping their order of merit. That was a beauty at the 14th. He was round in 68 today, and he's got a great chance of breaking through on the European Tour. Aaron Wright is a winner in Hong Kong. A couple of seasons since he claimed that victory. What a role this was at the 12th for the Englishman. He was round in 67 and at 8 under, he'll take a one-shot lead into Sunday. September night in Northern Ireland's history with temperatures dropping to four degrees below par and it meant as well as the fog we had frost so things were delayed a little bit now it's absolutely peachy out there 105 hands forward try to dead arm this and eliminate what spin you can it's tough to do though What a shot. And he needed to make a birdie down the last to tie John Catlin in the clubhouse at 10 under. But I'm afraid he found thick rough with his second and he could only make bogey there. He finished second in the end and it was Catlin's day. Beautiful shot into the 16th. He made three birdies in the closing four holes. 
and having won at Valderrama just three weeks ago when he held off Martin Keimer down the stretch. John Catlin from Sacramento in California picked up a second European Tour title. He loved this shot into the 18th. Be good, he said, and it was. It set up an eagle putt. He stroked it down to within birdie range. And he popped this one in. Wonderful finish, those three birdies in the last four. A closing 64. He had started the day four behind. He won it in the end beauty. by two. <laughs> two wins in three weeks. And Catlin is the 2020 Dubai duty-free Irish Open winner. To watch another European Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.